Greetings, people. Stacy here. It's time for Miracles and Blessings. I want to talk about guardian angels. I never believed in angels. I thought they were a little too foo-foo-y, very earthbound and kind of from Missouri, the show-me state. So one day I was sitting in my store and I said out loud to God, you know what? I think I'm ready to invite angels in. I never had an affinity for them, but Stevie loves angels, Stevie Nicks, and I'm ready. That's all. So that's all I said. Then I went about my business. A few minutes after that, a woman came in and she wanted to book a reading. And so I looked at my calendar. I said, come in next week, March 14th. She comes in. As soon as she sits down and I look at her, I said, oh my God, I see angels all around you. She started laughing. She said, everything in my life is angels. My daughter, Facebook page, she's taking an angel course, the whole nine. Awesome. I do the reading, wrap it up and say goodbye. The next day, I'm hanging out in my store, and I have a book that I've never even looked at on the shelf. It's called Angels in My Hair by Lorna Byrne. So let me check this out. So page one, I'm in. I read the whole book in two days. At the end of the book, it teaches you how to connect with your guardian angel. So I read that part. I'm sitting down. I meditate, and I said out loud, guardian angel, what is your name? And the name Selena dropped in my head. There we go, and that was that. Okay, so fast forward, but I did also learn that angels like to be pestered, that there's millions of angels unemployed, you have to invite them in and ask for, you know, help, assistance and whatever, and they'll come on in. And that angels also like you to really pester, like your guardian angel, put your foot down, ask for what you want, like a child bugging a mama. So that I could do. So it was July 18th. It was 4,000 degrees out, sideways electrical lightning. I'm closing in five minutes, and my cash register is hungry. Very slow day. So I said out loud, kind of snide, All right, Selena, I'd like one big doing customer to come in before I close in the next five minutes. Papa, show me. So two minutes later, my front door opens. I said, Hello. They said, Hello. Two women walked in. One woman spent a fortune. It was mind-blowing. That happened. Shocking. Yay. Felt good. Then a few months later, life is going on. My, I'm having a very bad financial time. It was a terrible time. I had two stores. My new store, Omen the Home, was pretty much for a trust fund child. The other store that I raised since 1989, once I left the building, was doing terrible. So this was September 29th. It was the harvest moon, my favorite moon of the year. I'm an optimist, so I'm a happy girl. I wake up, I go to my first store, Love's Harvest Moon, and I said to Abby, I said, ooh, did they come for the rent yet? She's like, it's the 29th. I was like, oh. I call my bank, 652 overdrawn. I said goodbye, because now at this point, I'm just boneless. I'm rock bottomed. I'm just emotionally empty. I'm gone. I'm just the walking dead. So now I'm going to drive to my other store, which is four minutes away. It's about three in the afternoon. I walk in, and I'm an optimist, so it's got to be great over here. Hey, Janine, how we doing? $13. I said, oh. she said, I'm sorry. I said, no, honey. Here. I gave her $30. I said, go home. I stood in the front of my store, and I said out loud, Selena, God, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. If this is my purpose, then you pay the bills. Because I'm so stressed, I'm going to get sick. I can't do this anymore. I will not have these thoughts. And I'm sobbing. I'm dripping. I, w I just couldn't take it anymore. I've never been in this position. And I'm the most giving person I've ever met. I mean, I'm God's baby. I go grab this pair of little angel earrings that um, this woman Megan made. And I have them in my hand. And my hands are in prayer. And I'm I my eyes are dripping. And I said, Selena, God, I let go. I will not have these thoughts. You handle this business from now on. I am done. Done. And I meant it. I open my eyes. There's an older woman outside looking at my psychic night sign. I open the door. I'm still tearing. So I just dot my eyes and I said, hi. And she says, when are you having a psychic night? I said, I have no idea. Come in. She comes in. We're standing by my front desk. And she said, how do you do it? I said, oh, come on in here. I brought her into the second room. As we were crossing the hallway to go in the second room, I turned to her and said, oh, what's your name? Selena. I said, shut up. She said, what? I said, that's my guardian angel's name. She said, how do you know? I said, I know. I opened my hand. I showed her the earrings. She walked around the table and she left. Diamonds didn't fall from the sky. Oprah Winfrey didn't call me. I didn't win the lottery. 
That's what happened. So what I thought being, all I read was one angel book. I thought that God sent a woman named Selena in to say, we got you, baby, no worries. Eight months later, Abby says to me, she's not into the whole woo-woo. She's more into the science of how and why God created the world. And I said, oh yeah, Dr. Science, explain to me the Selena story. And she says to me, oh no, you definitely had an angel visitation. I said, what? She said, they come in person. I said, Abby. She said, think about it, Stacy. You love old ladies. You opened your eyes. She was there. That was your angel. Well, nothing could have filled me up with more stunning energy in my life. I was absolutely floored by the thought of this, that my guardian angel walked into my store. Since that, my business is a lot better, but we must be broken to be rebuilt. We have to have a nice, good foundation. So I didn't notice through all the struggle that had I not been through this struggle, I would not have created a line of clothing. I wouldn't be doing all these sessions and teaching a class and all that. So everything, every struggle that you're going through brings you to where you're supposed to be. And all you have to do is be awake and aware. So now, not that every day I walk around, you know, floating with angels, Avi, I'm here, but now, whenever I get caught up in the world thought form, I check myself. I sit there and I say, absolutely not. I know God's got me. I got my angel. I still do my work. Not much, but I do my work. <laughs> but I sit back and I allow spirit to deliver to me as I to deliver to others. So my entire point is this. Everyone has a guardian angel. Don't listen to my story. I mean, listen, hi, but make your own. Find your own truth. There is magic everywhere. This universe, this is not a material world. This is a spiritual world. And I know that for sure. I stand to my truth. So I wish you all miracles and blessings, darling. You have a happy day and we'll talk soon. Bye now.